Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will package our city sample destructible vehicle in Unreal Engine 5.3 and this tutorial we will continue from the video 10 how to add a custom vehicle to city sample project Let's copy our project Let's see this project version open with notepad and you can see this use engine 5.0 so we want to update it to 5.3 first Let's delete this .bs binary derive data intermediate package delete this save .sln script Go to plug in delete this binary intermediate and then let's switch and re engine version to 5.3. Click OK and we generating project files. We need to change some C source code because and engine has updated so it deprecated some function or completely removed some function from the engine. Then open this dot sln and this dot u project and now we have and the engine 5.3 run this and here we get the errors they said that the following module are missing or built with different engine version destructible vehicle city sample sensor grid so we need to change the city sample sensor grid and click no search for city sample open the city sample and you need to download this city sample in Unreal 5.3 or you can take the file that I provide in the link in the description below this is the city sample project after we download go to plug in and copy the city sample sensor grid Make sure this is the engine version of the city sample is the same with the project. It's 5.3. This copy the city sample sensor grid. Close this. Go to plug in and delete this city sample sensor grid. As it and clean the project. Let's close this Visual Studio first and clean it. Delete this binary. Let's generate. Open destructible vehicle .sln. and let's run this local window debugger. 
and now we can initialize the project we have some error missing project setting let's open project setting and it told us to go to platform windows and in about this sm6 and let's restart now and let's try play this we get the error inside BP car interaction. Open this. And go to this error. It caused by add or update Bob target. Let's call add or update Bob target. Click this. The target name is interaction. Connect. Location to location. Rotation to rotation. Delete this. Compile. And save. Let's play and now we can play the project. Next we need to remove some warning. Go to record based destruction and compile. When we compile we have some warning that skeleton mesh has been deprecated. So we change this skeleton mesh to skeleton mesh asset. Get skeleton mesh asset. And compile. And we don't have this warning. Go to vehicle based deformable get get how much asset Because of this kind of deprecate function, it caused our project cannot open inside and the engine different version. Let's compile. Now we don't have this warning. And go to we call base compile. And we can compile successfully. Save all. And play. Go to the vehicle, press C to drive.
let's hit this wall and the deformation is working it's still working correctly and i noticed that when i package this project we have some error with the audio go to audio and go to script open bp audio moment mode script go to event graph and this set global bus makes value we have the error so disconnect this and let's compile and we can save all let's go to vehicle 3 and go to blueprint drag this vehicle destruction into the scene let's play if your vehicle don't have the balance and it's hard to control it will caused by the center of mass of this vehicle so search for center of mass and set this z to zero Let's play again. I notice that the deformation of the vehicle is not strong as in Unreal Engine 5.2 and 5.0. Open deformable blueprint. Go to event graph. If you using Unreal Engine 5.0 to pre-initialize the control rig, you need to call it from the begin play. We add a sequence and connect this to the control rig pre-initialize. But because we use Unreal Engine 5.3, we don't need this. And let's try package this project. Create a new project name folder name package. Open and select folder and show output log. Or you can go to window output lock to see the full output and we the result is error and let's see where is the error it come from this graph editor inside destructible vehicle.pl.cs so let's fix this Close the project. Open destructible vehicle.sln. Open this destructible vehicle.build.cs and we comment on this. Graph editor, property editor, editor style, anim graph, blueprint graph. 
we use only this and name graph runtime you can clean this style go to destructible we call dot u project and we don't need this additional dependency because inside this anim graph it have unreal add only used in editor so we can package this in runtime delete this and this destructible vehicle runtime the type is uncooked only let's save and open this destructible we call dot target dot cs and we done add this destructible we call runtime style let's play test if it takes too much time you can go to task manager and close microsoft visual studio at task we clean this project first delete this dot sln generate visual studio project file Open this destructible vehicle .sln. Open .u project and local Windows debugger. Let's package project again. Go to package and select folder see if we have any other error and it's fail again we can see that we use we need to use skin asset instead of the skeleton mesh So this error caused by anim node copy post rotation dot cpp and anim node copy post rotation dot h so to fix this go to visual studio project and open this anim node copy post rotation dot h and in node copy post rotation dot cpp then go to ct sample go to source ct sample editor Go to CT sample, enim, CT sample, enim node copy post rotation dot h. Open it and copy this to our enim node copy post rotation dot h. Paste it here. And open another one is ct sample anim node copy post rotation dot cpp. Copy.
and paste it to the destructible vehicle project .cpp file. Close this. Let's save. And delete this city sample because our name is Enim node, not city sample, Enim node. And change this track to destructible vehicle API. Delete this city sample. City sample and name node. Copy post rotation and save. Go to dot cpp and delete this and delete this city sample. This log tag namespace. And you can find the error by watching this the red line under the under the tag. And when you don't have any error, save it. Clean project. Delete this intermediate. And then generate Visual Studio. Open this destructible vehicle.sln. Play this. Take this to window. You cannot use it in Android because or mobile because Droid is not support in mobile. So only on PC. And we successfully build this project. Let's open the package and open destructible vehicle.exe and enter this vehicle. The door of this vehicle is not working. Let's hit this vehicle. And you can see this deformation is working inside the build. Let's pick the door. 
Cứ thu animation Vì có 3 animation This proxy post Animation blueprint And this copy post rotation You can see we don't have this name and the source bone name Let's open the copy project and copy the name from there. Go to vehicle 3 animation and my sample print proxy. This copy post rotation. Copy all this bone mapping. Close it and pass it here. And you can see the first one is trunk, or you can type it the same name as this. Compile and save. Play test. And open this door. We can open the door. Now let's package this project again. And we successfully package this project again. Let's open package. Let's go to our destructible vehicle project and package window. And open this execution file. And Try this vehicle. Now the door of the vehicle is working. And the deformation is working. The deformation working correctly when we package the project. Enter the vehicle and let's try and hit this ball and this deformation is working. And in the editor it happened because after we update the project to Unreal Engine 5.3 we need to wait it a little bit for the project to compile the material and the blueprint of the project it working with the custom vehicle too this is the end of our tutorial if you like this tutorial please hit like and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much for my patrons member who are supporting me your support really means a lot to me. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the future tutorial.